Glory to God. It's sure good to be in the house of the Lord again this morning. And uh, I'm really grateful and appreciative of, of everybody, uh, the board asking us to, uh, to be in the morning service. And uh, just grateful to be among God's people. And uh, I sure appreciate what I've been getting in this camp meeting. Glory to God. I, I hope I'm not going to take too much time, but in Genesis chapter 4, could I sing a song to you? He said the meal wasn't be ready for an hour, so you got an hour to eat up. What you don't use, I'm preaching the rest of the time. <laughs> Praise God. On a good day, Brother Paul Markey is dangerous. With a little bit of rest, it's hard to tell. Oh my God. All of his goodness. I cannot measure All of His mercy Has never been told But talk about His blessing Oh, talk about His blessing Well, I can escape They overtake Wherever I go, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all of my days. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all of my days. Just look behind me. Tell me, what do you see? It's the blessings of God, my sweet Lord, overtaken me. For 30 long years, Lord, I have served you. Now you know I've tried. This race to run. But Lord, how you bless me. Dear Lord, how you bless me. What can I say? I'll never repay for all you have done. Surely goodness and mercy. Shall follow me all of my days. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all of my days. Just look behind me. Tell me what do you see? It's the blessings of God, my sweet Lord. Overtaken me, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all of my days. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all of my days. Just look behind me. Tell me, what do you see? It's the blessings of God, my sweet Lord, overtaken me. I'll raise your hands and give Him glory. Glory to God. Glory to God. Did you know goodness and mercies are the rear guard of the Christian? Amen. Psalms 23 said, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me the rest of my days. Amen. Do you know goodness and mercy travel in that spot where Moses, when he was overwhelmed, he said, Lord, show me thy glory. And the Lord said, uh, there's a place by me. And he put him there and, and, and he put his hand over that uh, cliff and the rock and and when the Lord went by there, he saw only the hinder parts. He just saw where he'd been. Lord God. You ever had the devil bother you? Has he ever bothered you? 
Has he ever told you there's no use going on? Praise God. You know what you need to do? You need to have goodness and mercy to bring out that family album again. You know, they're, they're, they're where we've been. Goodness and mercy are where we've been. Hallelujah. You need to get them to sit down with that family album one more time and, and see you at an old time altar praying through. You need to look at that time where you, where you couldn't make it any longer and God stretched out that time where you said, I can't go any farther. And you just went farther. Glory to God. I can't go another step and you went another step. Glory to God. I can't sing another song, but then you sang another song. Glory to God. You need to call on goodness and mercy every once in a while. Praise God. Let them tell you again just how good it's been. Praise God. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for all you're giving. Amen. I'd love to be able to preach to you. Praise God. i got some good news for you. Amen. I'm not going to preach long. Glory to God. Genesis chapter 4. Begin reading in verse number 8. You stand with me for the reading of God's word. Genesis chapter number 4 and verse number 8. And Cain talked with Abel his brother. And it came to pass that when they were in the field. That Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain. Where is Abel thy brother? And he said I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. Praise God. Would you help me pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word of God. We thank you, Lord, for all that's already been done. God, we thank you, Lord, for your blessing. We thank you for your mercy. Now, Lord, would would you anoint me to preach what you've given me, Lord, and anoint hearts to receive. And we'll fail not to give you the praise and honor and glory for it all. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. I'd like to take my text from verse number 10. And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. Praise God. The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. Praise God. In this scripture, amen, it begins to, if we begin to visualize what the word of God is saying, amen, at the spot where Cain slay Abel and his blood is spilled out upon the ground, amen, that that sin has acquired a voice, praise God. Your brother's blood crieth out to me. And so sin here, it acquires a voice that it might call out to us, glory to God. James said in uh, 1 and 14, But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. And then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, it bringeth forth death. Praise God. And there's a baby cry in that scripture. When lust hath conceived, and it bringeth forth sin. And there's a cry there. Hey, but everything that bo- uh, is born. Amen. Issue some sort of, uh, of, of some sort of noise or, or some sort of, uh, uh, an alarm, I guess. Amen. When they've entered into this world. And you know, sin is no different. Praise God in that first scripture. Amen. Sin began to have a voice. Amen. In James, it said that it bringeth forth, Lord God, a voice is to express or to utter opinion. Concern, uneasiness, and doubt, or etc. And so sin's voice, amen, has an ability to speak, Lord God. When it begins to speak, amen, it is not audible to everyone around us necessarily. But it becomes audible, amen, to our conscience. It becomes audible to our heart. It becomes audible to our soul. Amen. It cries out, amen, liar. It cries out guilty. It cries out wrong, Lord God. 
and it cries its voice. Amen. And when the, when the voice of this sin cries, amen, it might awaken you in the midnight hour. Amen. You may look at your wife and wonder why she's sleeping through this. Amen. When it sounds like, amen, a voice is shouting inside of your house. You did wrong. Praise God. You've done wrong, Lord of God. But inside of that, amen, you begin to realize that the voice that's, uh, that's reverberating off of the walls, amen, is not off of the walls of the room. It's off of the walls of your soul. Praise God. And that voice, he'd been rising to a crescendo. He'd been at demand some sort. He'd been a decision about this. There must be something done. He'd been about this voice of sin. Lord God. It was Edgar Allan Poe that wrote the story, Tell Tell Heart. And in it, he talked about a man that had, had murdered someone. And in this murdering, uh, he thought he had effectively hidden away the body. But the story goes that he uh, only to realize later on uh, that he kept hearing a heartbeat. And that heart would beat. And he could see no one around him. Amen. And he began to realize that that heartbeat must be the one. Amen. That he had slain. Uh, when they come to his house, praise God to talk with him. Amen. He's aware of the heartbeat and he wonders why they don't hear it. Amen. But, but you see, amen, that voice is, is audible. Amen. But it's not always audible. Amen. To everyone. But we know, praise God, and when it's active, glory to God. If sin's voice, amen, in Numbers chapter 32 and verse 23. But if you will not do so, behold, you have sinned against the Lord. And be sure your sin will find you out. Glory to God. Not only does voice have a, uh, sin have a voice, sin has a responsibility. It must find out the culprit. Glory to God. It must chase after that one. Glory to God. We often say that we're hounded about with different things. The, the reason we say that is because of the nature of, of the beast. A hound is a sort of a beast that goes after. There's hounds that travel by scent. And there are hounds that travel by sight. And But they're... Their purpose is that they have found a trail. And in finding that trail, they will use everything available to them to chase down their prey. Lord God. It is so, hey man, that a hound, praise God, also means to pursue or chase relentlessly. Hey man, I hounded him to death. I hounded them to death. Lord God. And so could I, hey Ben, without stretching your imagination too far, could I tell you, hey Ben, that hell has hounds, glory to God. That there are hounds in the stable of hell. And those hounds that are, are in the stable of hell, hey Ben, are much like the hounds that we could uh, find in, 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 in my mind, in my imagination. I've imagined, uh, he been up on King Mountain, up in Antioch, the old church up there, next to the old fire tire. He'd been down over the hill there. He'd been the old men of the community would get together and they'd build a fire. And they'd sit around that fire. They'd come in with their pickup trucks and they'd have a, a boxes on the back. And they bring those boxes in there. Hey, man, those those hounds are baying, and they're and they're barking, and I can hear them. Hey, been from the church even I could hear them out over the hill, and I could hear those voices of those hounds, those uh, as they uh, begin to let them out, and and the eager yips and yelps of those beasts. Hey, been as they knew that pretty soon they were going to be on the trail. Hey, been this is a group of fox hunters. Hey, been these fox hunters that hunt back in the hills. Of Southwest Virginia. Hey, Ben, they bring those old uh, hounds off of that truck. Hey, Ben, they know every one of them. I can't even tell them apart, but they know every one of them. Hey, Ben, they'll say that's old blue. Uh, yeah, old blue ain't nobody like old blue. 
That's old Sadie right there. Hey, Amen. Ain't nobody can strike a, a tree like old Sadie can. Hey, Amen. No one can. Glory to God. And they might be called an old buster. Hey, Amen. But they know not only their names, but they know the unique sound that each of those hounds make. They can hear him traveling down over. Hey, Ben and Jake Ratliff holler. Hey, Ben, they can hear him down over. Hey, Ben, down Skaggs branch. Praise God, they can hear their voices. They can hear their barks. And they know that they're on a trail. These men that own these things, they can tell how close they are to the prey. Hey, Ben, by the way that the hounds are barking. They can tell by the way that they're baying. Hey, Ben, that they have hit a hot trail. They can tell down in that down in that valley. They can say, "Oh, Buster, here's a drawn nigh." Glory to God. How's that hound? Hey, Ben, bays or or holes or trees, and depending on what kind of game you're looking for. Hey, Ben, that hunter will say with confidence, "It's time to get up and go on down there, boys." Hey, Ben, he's got them right where we want them at. Glory to God. I'm going to tell you, hey, man, when the Lord gave me this message, he took me around an old fire. Hey, man, but the fire wasn't on King Mountain. Hey, man, it was a fire down in the pits of hell. Hey, man, and down around that fire. Hey, man, the devil sat. Hey, man, and they wandered about their dogs. Glory to God. The hounds that they had turned loose. And I can hear one of them say, I can hear old lust obeying now. Hey, man, he's on a trail. Hey, man, that one look from that girl. Hey, man, has got his heart on fire. And Brother Paul, he's obeying. Hey, man, he's looking. Hey, man, he's drawing nigh. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I worked down at Fort Belvoir uh, putting in security systems. While I was down there, I was uh, privileged to be among those uh, that trained the canine forces uh, for the United States military. I went down there and watched those dogs. Every day they'd bring those dogs out. Hey, better when they bring them out, and these dogs were either bomb dogs, attack dogs, or drug dogs. Glory to God. They'd bring them out. I began to question these men. I'd say, hey, hey, man, I want to know about these dogs. And they, they would begin to tell me they love these dogs. And they, they would tell me about them. And, and one of them said, I said, uh, how, how, how accurate is his ability to smell? And this old soldier told me, he said, you can put, hey, man, a bag of dope inside a tank of gasoline. Praise God. And he said, my dog, no. It's there. Hallelujah. I hear another, another one of those devils around that fire. Hey, man, is that world in the side here? I can hear him hollering. Praise God. I can hear him wailing. Hey, man, he's been closing in for a while now. Hey, man, he works kind of slow. Hey, man, but he's a sure killer. Hey, man, he works in slow. Uh, sometimes he doesn't rush in like murder does. Hey, man, but he works the trail slow. Hey, man, it takes a little bit by a little bit. Hey, man, but the end result will always be the same. Hey, man, have you ever seen a hound get a hold of something? Hey, man, it's a fierce and horrible thing to look at. Glory to God, when that hound gets a hold of you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are hounds of jealousy. I've heard those. There are hounds of greed and envy and strife. There are hounds of pride. And there are hounds of discouragement and despair. These hounds. These hounds. You know, I asked this man, I said, well, with these dogs, what if I, what if I could somehow or another, that I could diverge several tracks over top of what has already been laid? What if I went through here, hey, Ben, and then, and then we sent hundreds of people back over those tracks again? And Brother Ricky, he said, my dog could pick up your track. Come on, help me preach a minute. You mean if I run a 1,700 good deeds over that one? And that it won't erase the smell of that one? I'm telling you. Hey man, the hound still knows the sin of the trail. 
They used to say, hey, man, that you could leave, uh, uh, leave that smell in water. I asked this man, I said, can you lose these hounds in water? He said, it'd have to be awful much water. Hey, man, he said, these hounds have an ability. Hey, man, do you know a hound can go underwater? You can throw a particular rock. Hey, man, and a hound can go underwater and pick up the rock that you threw out of your hand. Glory to God. That's an, an amazing ability. Praise God. Um, but these hounds that, that get on the trail of us, hey, man, we cannot cover over them. Hey, man, with a hundred dollar bill and an offering. Hey, man, we can't sing over them. Hey, man, we can't. Hallelujah. Hey, man, we can't go to the nursing home enough times. Hey, man, to erase the scent. Hey, man, we can't. Oh, y'all ain't helping me. I know we're tired, but I need to get this off of my chest. Glory to God. And these hounds, when they begin to cry, amen. I hear the one that had old lust, and he said, I remember. Do you remember, boys, when he struck that old king's a trail? You know, the one that they called the sweet psalmist of Israel. Do you remember when he struck his trail? Hey, but you remember what I told you, boys, when you said that he'll never bring him in? And I told you, watch my dog go, son. Hey, but watch my hound. Glory to God. I wish I could tell you, hey, Ben, that we have found, hey, Ben, that everybody inside of the house of God has been able to outrun that hound but you know that it's not so you have seen it happen in your own church you have seen it happen in your own community hey man you've seen it happen in your own family hey man you oh help me now as long as that scent is there hey man the hound will never leave the trail hey man your sin will find you out Lord God hallelujah Glory to God. There's a story. In that story, they tell about a dog that wanted to run with the hounds. And, and a dog, I don't know, I, I like stories. And I guess this is just a story. They said the dog wanted to run after him. And around home, there was always a bunch of wild packs of dogs. And they were dangerous. They were dangerous things to be around. And these hounds, he meant finally called enough in the night hour. Amen, that they pulled this one off the porch. When I read this story, amen, it struck a chord home. Because Brother brother Lawrence Horn, the pastors, amen, down at Loggy Bottom Church in Buckhannon County, Virginia. If you ever, ever get a chance to talk to Brother Lawrence, ask him about his daddy. His daddy... Went to church for years and years and years. He come home one evening and he spoke to his wife and he said, Honey, I'm going to go out for one more good time. And then I'm coming back. This is it. I'm only going to go out. What are we, you think I'm crazy? Call Brother Lawrence. He said his daddy went down, hey man, in the gambling. He didn't stop with the gambling. Hey man, he hit the bottle. And I'm telling you, this is one night. When he got off of the porch and he hooked up with them, my brother said, my precious brother Lawrence, when he tells you, and you see him crying, you see his shoulders trembling. Hey, Ben, as he tells about his father, hey, Ben, dead. Hey, Ben, the next morning, and his mama's testimony that he said that he only wanted to go out one more time and run with the dogs. Lord of God, listen to me. I listen to me. The hounds of hell, hey, Ben, call. They call preachers. They call Sunday school teachers. They bay in our ears. Years. Hey man, they they make promises that they cannot fulfill, and if they did fulfill, the end result would be the same. Oh God! I lived in Jake Ratliff Island when I was growing up. Hey man, world famous place, eighth major wonder of the world. Praise God. We had enough old cars there. I wish we had them now. I could make a fortune off of scrap. Lord of God. Old junk cars everywhere. Then 
a bunch of boys up at the head of the holler, Stiltner boys. And they were mean as striped snakes. Praise God. And unstriped snakes. And they, I tell you how their names was Lonzo and Oscar. <laughs> Lonzo and Oscar got playing with some gasoline one day and one set the other on fire just to see what it looked like. Uh, that's right. That's truth. But they got to fighting dogs. And they'd get out in the community and get every dog they could find back to, to fight with. They'd bring those dogs up to the holler. And, and what they do is they ride them old cars that they had by. And when we get close to where they wanted to turn one out on somebody's dog, they they pull into the side and they lift that dog out the back. Hey, Ben, and that dog, it doesn't know nothing else but killing. It didn't know nothing else but fighting. Praise God. And it would hit, hey, Ben, whatever. I don't care if it was a Chihuahua. Hey, Ben, I don't care if it was a German Shepherd. Hey, Ben, it piled on them. Glory to God. Hey, I had one dog there. Hey, Ben, it was just mean as it could be. We had an old collie. Hey, Ben, it was mixed with German Shepherd and we called him Old Ship. Praise God, Old Ship. Hey, Ben, we didn't know what kind of dog it was. Hey, Ben, they turned this dog out on him. Hey, Ben, up the hill from the house. Can you see it? Hey, Ben, up from the hill from the house. And these two dogs fought on that old road. Hey, Ben, they had one another down in the ditch. Hey, Ben, uh, we was a screaming and a crying. Hey, Ben, thinking it's going to kill Old Ship. Hey, Ben, y'all ain't helping me. Glory to God. And as he, hey Ben, as it finally, hey Ben, I would say, brother, I'm good to meet you. I'd say first time, hey Ben, if they ever met, it was clearly a draw. Glory to God. <laughs> they brought that old dog back again, brother Alvin. Hey Ben, but this time they turned him loose in the yard. That was a bad mistake. Old Shep, he would have fought him on the road, but he'd have died in the yard. He ain't going to let that yard get run over. He's not going to let you come in the yard. And he fought that dog. He been he fought him till he finally had a hold of his neck. And then boys began to scream. And they got out of that car and they run over there. He been to pull their dog out from under our dog. Hallelujah. They finally got him loose. And the old dog got loose. And he ran all the way up and stood on the top of the car. He been old Shep standing down there and just obeying at him. Glory to God. I tell you, he been, there is a way. To break the sin of sin. You cannot go through the water. But you can go through the blood. You will not lose it in the water. But you will lose it in the blood. And they will not be able to follow. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. If you knew what was on the other side of the blood. Hallelujah. But as long, as long, <laughs> ah, you don't know what I was. Hallelujah. And I ain't going to tell you. But on this side of the blood, hey, Ben, the hounds can't get me. On this side of the blood, they can't tear me to bits. On this side of the blood, they have lost their power. On this side of the blood, they have no dominion anymore. I have passed. I have passed where the scent does not follow. Hallelujah. Let me tell you about that, that hound of discouragement and despair. Hallelujah, that is not sin. Discouragement and despair is not sin. But I want to tell you, there's a bigger dog in the woods. There's a bigger dog in the woods. Ah, would you let the sweet Holy Ghost meet that for you? Would you let it come in the yard? Come on in the yard, hound. Come on in the yard, hound. My Holy Ghost had wanted to get a hold of you. My Holy Ghost had wanted to get a hold of you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Ah, would you praise Him, saints of God. Lift your hands and praise Him. No more. No more. I'm drawing the line and it's a red line. It's a blood line. It's Calvary's line. It's Jesus' line. Oh, glory. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners plunge beneath the flood. 
and lose all their guilty stains. Woo! Glory to God. Let me tell you something, saints. I'll preach my heart out to get you there. But you got to go in. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And you being dead in sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, have he quickened together with him, having forgiven all your trespasses, and blotted out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way. Took it out of the way. Woo! Glory! Glory! I wonder if he used the same chain that that mighty angel is going to use on that day when he comes down to bind the devil. He bet and the angel gets that chain out and says, Oh, lust, give me a collar, son. I'm tying you up. Hallelujah. Come on, worldliness. I'm putting a latch on you. Praise God. Where are you going to tie him to? Where am I going to tie him to? I'm going to tie him to that cross. Some through the waters, some through the blood, some through the fire, but all through the blood. <laughs> Woo. Sister Brinkley, come on. Hurry up. Lord of God. Some through great sorrow. But God gives a song. <laughs> In the night season. And all the day long. How now despair. How now despair. Hallelujah. They say when a lion roars that every creature in the jungle will become still. Because they can't stand up to that. I was reading something about that. They said that even the fierce animals would remain in their silence. But it said there was one other beast that could cry out. And that was another lion. Peter said that the adversary of our soul is a roaring lion who's roaming about seeking whom he may devour. But in the book of Revelation said there was a lion of the tribe of Judah. Woo! You ought to hear him roar. You ought to hear him Pray with me, saints. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you made provision, Lord, to take care of sin. Not only sin, Lord, but you made provision, Lord, to take care of our dark days, God, and our sorrow-filled moments, Lord. And we're so grateful, Lord this day, Lord, as you draw that broad red line and we cross over it again to pray, God, there's some, there's some hounds of hell. Some of you have carried almost more sorrow than you ever dreamed possible. There's some that have carried far more. Far, far more than I'd ever be able to bear. Praise God. But sometimes in the darkness of that night, where weeping endures for the night, it seems like the morning's never going to come. But I believe, (laughs) 
I believe that there's a ray of sunshine that's broke through in this camp meeting. Do you feel how we've drawn together? Yes. Do you feel how we've become one again? Do you feel how the fragments have... (laughs) Hallelujah. As we come to pray, you that have been under the voice of the hounds, I'm not saying that you sinned. I'm just saying there's been an awful lot of barking going on. Would you be just brave enough to kneel down at this old cross and let God take care of it for you? As you're coming from your seats, come on and pray. Come on and pray. Young man, is that that hound? Has it been hounding you? Young lady, has that hound been trying to pry you away from your promises to God? Oh, would you let God take care of the hounds? Oh, Jesus.